All right, I'm a little hungover, but uh, I was just emailed an article and it just couldn't wait. And this article perfectly sums up what men are so frustrated with these days with the mindset of women that we encounter. Today's women, all right? Today's women. This is not like my mother's a great woman. All right, I got aunts, um, my grandmas, great women, at least in my opinion, obviously, right? Today's women are not the same, and you know why? It's because of articles like these. So I'm gonna take you into this article, and my men out there, this is why I'm gonna spend a lot more time warning you on the dangers of some of the women out there these days, because this type of mindset is just poisonous, and if you're a lady watching this, if you consider yourself a feminist and you wonder why men run away from you, it's exactly because of articles like this. If you do not see the problem with going around like yet like being all proud that you're a feminist, hopefully this helps wake you up a little bit, ladies, because feminism is not about equality. It is about getting women as many perks as they can in trying to put men in this hateful light. You know what? Let me just take you right in to the article. This is the article, uh, and this is from NBC News. I will link to it below if you want to check it out yourself, because I will not be covering the whole thing. It's just too much garbage. But uh, shout out here first to um, Martin P. Thank you, Martin. He sent this to me with his thoughts. Um, if you guys ever see articles like this, Go ahead and send them my way, support at textingprints.com. So thank you, Martin, and uh, let's just get into some of this nonsense. So uh, this is Miley Cyrus split with Liam Hemsworth isn't just celebrity gossip, it's a blow to the patriarchy. You guys know that word, that P word, the patriarchy. So women like Cyrus are speaking out about sexuality in ways that put the power and responsibility back into their own hands okay so this article which again man i'm a little hungover and it's just just too much trash for me to read to save you a lot of time so you don't have to read this entire article it can be summed up <laughs> to basically say this uh, miley cyrus and julianne howe celebrities here are showing women how to defeat that dang patriarchy in another way and this genius article comes to the conclusion that uh, the patriarchy uh, created the heterosexual uh, norms that we have today and that Miley Cyrus and this Julianne House are showing women that, you know what, maybe there's another way to walk away from the patriarchy and that is that you don't have to be heterosexual anymore. Maybe heterosexual... You know, maybe that whole thing is just not working. Maybe maybe men are just too toxic for any heterosexual relationships to work. So that is the sum of the article. And now I'm going to point to some little uh, little pieces in between here. And just, just to show you some, uh, some of this uh, beautiful writing. And this is by Marcy Bianco something. Uh, go ahead and Google her. You'll, you'll see the, the typical feminist look. And just to show you how much garbage this is and why I'm not going to spend much time actually reading much of hers, let's look at this. On the second paragraph, is a snapshot of 2019 America. These stories present a startling picture. Men continue to coerce, harass, rape, and kill girls and women and go to extreme lengths to avoid responsibility for their actions. On the other side of the issue, girls and women are challenging heterosexuality and even absconding from it altogether. Framed differently, the picture is this. Men need heterosexuality to maintain their societal dominance over women. Women, on the other hand, are increasingly realizing not only that they don't need heterosexuality, but that it is also is often the bedrock of their global oppression. <sighs> Patriarchy is at its most potent when oppression doesn't feel like oppression 
or when it is packaged in terms of biology, religion, or basic social needs like security, comfort, acceptance, and success. Heterosexuality offers women all of these things as selling points to their consensual subjection. Historically, women have been conditioned to believe that heterosexuality is natural or innate. Okay, (laughs) this is the natural or innate way. Uh, I understand that other people have, you know, different strokes for different folks. That's fine. It's not like this was some big ploy that men put on to, like, make women think they needed men. (laughs) Just as they have been conditioned to believe that their main purpose is to make babies. And if they fail to do so, they are condemned as not real or as bad women. Now, on this thing, on the contrary, um, it seems like these days, women that decide to settle down early and start a family, the ones that want to be the traditional wives, it seems like those women, if you really look around media, are the ones that are shamed way more often than this, than the ones that decide that they, they don't want that. I feel like these women are the ones that are encouraged. They're empowered. They're like, yeah, you go, girl. Do you. You do you. All right, now, and then it talks about celebrities are, you know, Julianne Howe and Miley Cyrus have recently spoken out about sexuality. And one of the ways, and let me see this. Oh, man. By the way, if you're going to put Miley Cyrus as any type of... Um, influence is like someone to look be looked up to by people come on come on you lose credibility already okay let's see again i can't read all this it's just it's just gibble gobble part of the intimacy entailed telling her husband that she was not straight but had chosen to be with him this is an inspirational statement because it offers a new model for women to enter into heterosexual relationships with men that redefines the power dynamic so let me get this straight. The new move for women is to to show men that they don't have the power is to say, hey, you know what? I'm not actually heterosexual. I'm not just attracted to men. I'm also attracted to women, but I chose to be with you. I chose it. That That's like, <laughs> this is, this is the, the analogy that I kind of think of is like the guy that does a crappy job at work, he gets fired and then he walks into his boss and goes, you know what? I'm not fired. I choose to quit. Like, this is what women want. They just want that this every little last bit of power that they can get. And this is exactly why I teach men how to keep your power in all aspects of the dating game. And if you decide to go in a relationship, to keep your power there. Because, or else you will, you will deal with this. Because women read that. This is mainstream. This is NBC News. Not that I give it any credibility anymore. And hopefully most of you watching this don't. But a lot of women read this crap. All right, Miley Cyrus has never been shy about discussing her own personal sexuality. In 2015, the Wrecking Ball singer, yeah, there you go, right there, bring that up. Remember Wrecking Ball? And this is somebody they're they're using for women to look up to? And you wonder why our uh, men are deciding to go our own way? (laughs) It's not a secret anymore. Okay, so... Shortly after it was announced that Cyrus and her husband, Liam Hemsworth, were splitting up. Good for him. Dodged a bullet there. Photos of the singer kissing a woman in Italy made the tabloid rounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Uh, let's see. There, there's someone else I want to throw in here just to show you. Blah, blah, blah. All right, let's read this part here. Cyrus and Howe's respective, and I don't care if I'm getting Howe's name right or not, uh, respective declarations does more than raise visibility for the queer community at large. It is a powerful assertion of their bodily autonomy and control over their sexuality. Women's sexual liberation has always had a place in feminism. In The Second Sex, Beauvoir explains that freedom is recognized in women's sexual activity. And and that this freedom not only rests in self-possession, but in self-accountability. Now, let me talk about this for just a moment. All right, here's the deal. Yeah, and I heard Coach Greg Adams, who's great, by the way. If you haven't listened to him on YouTube, um, I really like his stuff. Coach Greg Adams talked about uh, 
that the reason there's a double standard about men sleeping around, it's kind of looked at as a cool thing. Like it's kind of like, oh yeah, you're a player, good job. You know how that that's kind of the uh, the standard. And for women, it's like, oh, she's a slut, she gets shamed and all that. That double standard. Well, Coach Greg Adams pointed out a really good reason for this is because for women, there is nothing easier than to get laid. There's absolutely nothing easier. You can get laid no matter what with Tinder, Bumble, even before online dating apps, which make it incredibly easy for women. Before that, they could go out to the bars and you know put on a dress and you could get laid every night if you want to if you're a woman. Seriously, pretty much it doesn't matter your attractive or attraction level. There will be some thirsty guy waiting around. And for men, it's not that way at all because women have this entitlement of and they're able to sleep around with whoever they want they are usually the selectors that's kind of the idea so they decide whether you have sex or not obviously right you can't just force it on a woman so when they say freedom is recognized as women's sexual activity that's the thing is to women their sexual freedom it's not hard for women to be able to sleep around so therefore when they do it and they feel liberated, what happens is it destroys their ability to pair bond. Now, I do not know the exact number of men that a woman can sleep with and still be able to have this pair bond, this type of connection with a man, uh, the type of connection that a woman's first love or her first, uh, the first person she sleeps with, that type of a connection that women have, you know, that kind of uh, childhood, oh, she's a stalker type, that kind of connection is lost when women sleep around. When they sleep around, they no longer have this ability to connect to one guy because they have the, the pantry is full of options. They're in a candy store, and so they don't ever want just one flavor of candy anymore. They want the whole store. So an article like this, guys, is basically teaching women again, hey, sleep around with as many people as you can, sexual um, your sexual, uh, you know, promiscuity is your freedom, basically. So now you have women thinking this. And this notion that an adult is responsible for their own sex life, how they have sex, who they have sex with, when, where, and why they have sex, portrays a sharp contrast in our culture, where men never seem to never have to take responsibility for their actions. Women must always take responsibility for not only their own action, but the actions of men. Okay, this is what women do not, I, I don't understand how they don't see this. All right, man and woman have a sex. I get it that a woman could be pregnant with the kid and have to take care of him, and theoretically a guy could just leave all that responsibility to her. But here's the deal. Women's body is women's choice. Men have no, men have no, freedom in that if a girl decides to get an abortion a men can a man cannot say no you can't do that because that's the patriarchy telling her what to do with her body if a woman decides to keep it a man can't say no get an abortion i'm not ready to have it her choice her body right and then what happens is the man is now on the hook so he has no choice in this matter he has no choice whether to keep the kid if you want it he has no choice whether he's not ready for a kid and can't afford one Either way, he is now going to be expected and legally held to paying child support if the kid is kept. You see, the responsibility is completely in women's hands at this point because what can men do? Even by trying to suggest she does something with the kid, one way or the other is telling her what to do with her body. Again, this is what all the feminist women are like gung-ho about and they don't understand. There's literally zero power men have in this scenario. All right. Uh, oh my goodness, this is just crazy. Well, men stew in, in their mess. Women are rising. They are taking back control of their lives and their bodies and they are questioning the foundation of the patriarchy, heterosexuality that has kept them blindly subordinate for centuries. So this is, <laughs> this beautiful article all ties together to now say that heterosexuality, men and women, that is the patriarchy. The men have set that up. Men have, the patriarchy has brainwashed our entire society into believing that heterosexuality is normal. And 
The whole patriarchy was set up to put women as powerless creatures and to be um, under the control of the patriarchy for forever. Yep, this article nailed it. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> or maybe, or maybe, maybe our human race would never have survived if it wasn't for heterosexuality. I have nothing wrong with any of the gay community at all. I really don't. But this is just insane. Trying to now say that that the patriarchy is responsible for telling people that heterosexuality is the normal view. All right, guys. Um, I don't even know how I'm going to edit this video because this is just garbage and I'm hungover. But let me know what you guys think below. I mean, there's so many. You guys can read the article. I'll post it below. And you guys can point out probably way better criticisms than I was able to. But this is the type of stuff that like, okay, when women say stuff like this about like they're taking back control of their lives and their bodies and all this, this is exactly why men go their own way. Again, men just being like, all right, I'm done with that whole thing. I don't care. I don't need to. I am in that boat completely. Now, I still enjoy the whole game of the dating scene and all that, so I'll hang out with women, but this type of garbage is why I never commit to a girl long term because women have this in them. It's like even a girl right now that could watch this, she grew up with no news and all that. She could have this totally, um, even if you said the traditional woman, she could have this like traditional role. She wants to be the housewife and all that, and you could think this is awesome. And then you get married and who she around some other women that show her these articles, that talk about these articles. And that's all it takes for her to go, oh my gosh, I've been blinded by the patriarchy this whole time. Guys, women do not logically, they cannot logically sort this out the way that we can go through this and be like, oh yeah, uh, a woman can decide whether she keeps the baby or gets an abortion. Men have no control over that yet. This article points out that men have, you know, have uh, men are responsible for all the crappy things that happen to women, and they're not taking any response. It's like this is just a bunch of ghibli goo garbage. Who? And once again, if you're a woman out there and you are a feminist, uh, I would reconsider that. I would, I would seriously reconsider that. Do whatever you want. I would reconsider it if I were you because guys are just like, we're like trained to just run away from that now. I mean, red pill guys, the guys that women actually want, the ones that are um, guys that hold their own frame, they have a backbone. The men out there that don't put up with crap and shenanigans from women, those are the women or those are the guys that women actually want. Well, all of these guys run away. Actually, Two options. Guys, red pill men do one of two things when they see like a feminist, like on an online dating site. If you were going <laughs> to, guys either run away, they go, I don't want to deal with this. And I understand that one. Or they go the opposite and they go, ha ha ha, <laughs> like me. And I go, this lady is a feminist. She's and she's all about like if a girl's like uh, in her bumbles, like, oh, and if you're a Trump supporter, then swipe left. I want nothing to do with you. If I see a feminist, I either run away or I go, ha ha, I am going to make you realize how silly your point of views are because I'll just seduce you and then I'll argue with you and I'll throw a bunch of logic at you, get you all upset, and then I'll make you wear my Trump hat later. All right, guys. Whew, tell me what you think below. Don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, share the video, but definitely subscribe. Peace.